Hi, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Happy Friday to y'all. Um, do you guys want to hear about some real-world adoption of Ripple's X-Rapid technology using XRP? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I always love that. I'm going to cover a little bit of that today. And uh, I'm also going to highlight some news that came out this week from uh, Ripple's X-Rapid partner, uh, exchange partner, Bitrix. Um, they're the only uh, U.S.-based partner officially associated with Ripple uh, implementing XRapid on the exchange. So let's go ahead and hop right on in here. This headline from ambcrypto.com, XRP-powered XRapid partner, uh, Mercury FX elucidates on capital move between U.S. and Mexico. And uh, I'm just going to read a couple small parts of this. Uh, let's see here. Mercury FX and XRapid user and one of Ripple's foremost partners recently stated that the technology has been used successfully, which enabled the company to move massive amounts of capital, the organization stated. Uh, we've made our largest payments across RippleNet using XRP, 86,633 pesos from the UK to Mexico in seconds. Mercury FX was not the only company enjoying the benefits of XRapid, with UK-based Mustard Foods stating that they saved 79.17 pounds in 31 hours on the transaction. James Durant, the commercial director of Mustard Foods, said, As a food production company supplying 500-plus restaurants in the UK and Europe, we pay suppliers around the world to get quality ingredients for our customers. Faster, cheaper payments allow us to fulfill orders quickly and grow our business. So there you have it, real-world adoption. And so to, to people that say, <laughs> you know, XRP is a scam coin and not going not gonna, to not gonna be around for the long haul, explain this real-world adoption because it's actually getting used right now. And XRP is the only cryptocurrency, the only digital asset to ever be used in commercial production. Now, mind you, with um, technically Mercury FX here, uh, they are still in the pilot phase. They haven't launched the production version, but they've announced that they are moving forward with it. So anyway, point is, and XRapid is in production, so they, they just hadn't implemented it yet. But it's still getting used here, real-world use, and that's absolutely astonishing. So a lot of these other cryptos, like I keep saying, man, they're, they're going to go the way of the dodo. <laughs> they're they're going to go extinct. I think a lot of them are just, you know what that's going to look like? It's, it, I think it's going to be a lot of delisting by exchanges. Um, so, you know, Bitcoin, maybe it's got some staying power just because it has the first mover advantage, but that's not being used in the commercial production of anything. You know, and it, it was the very first. So so there you have it. And I, I'll tell you, if, you know, if, if there were other coins that were being ad adopted and actually used, I'd be, I'd be a cheerleader for them too. But this is the only one. There aren't any other coins that are actually getting used in commercial production anywhere. XRP was the first and still the only. So uh, I think it's neat. And I'm, I'm glad that I came, in, came into the space uh, relatively early. I mean, yeah, I've only been, doing, been in the space since November 2017. But Man, that's gonna that's gonna look like I was here super early. So everybody else that's that's recently joined in the last year or two or whatever, uh, it's still early times here, and I can only imagine what the space is gonna look like another decade or two from now. So uh, it's really neat to to watch this all unfold. Um, also, somewhat associated to uh, Ripple loosely. Um, Bitrix, they announced earlier this week, and I actually somehow didn't see this in the news until today, but this was announced on the 14th of January. Uh, I saw this in a tweet, so they wrote, uh, they tweeted out, January 14th, we're always exploring new trading options for our customers. Today, we're excited to offer an over-the-counter OTC desk for approved customers to quickly and conveniently trade digital assets. And then they have this image here, which uh, is a quote, it's, a, it's an image, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with a, a quote from the uh, the CEO of Bitrix. And it says, We're excited to offer this new game-changing trading option for our customers with one of the most extensive selections of digital assets of any OTC desk available. This offering will be another way for Bitrix to further advance adoption of blockchain technology worldwide, while also providing our customers with price certainty and a fast and easy way to trade large blocks of digital assets. And this is cool because, well, first of all, and the, the only way that it even loosely is related to Ripple is Bitrix is the <clears throat> the uh, U.S. exchange that um, is is uh, linked up with XRapid. 
And they're the they're the only U.S. exchange that's um, tying an extra. I still think that I mean, if you're an exchange, big picture, why would you not want to <laughs> to to um to link up the X rapid technology because more, more trades will happen on your exchange then as, as, and it's going to take a while, of course, because you need the world, real world adoption to continue of um, XRP as a bridge currency. But as that happens, if you're an exchange and you're tied up to X rapid, these are automatic transfers. And if there's a buy and there's a sell, you're making your money on the trades. And so anyway, Bitrix is, uh, is, is the only one that's doing that right now in the U S and now they're launching this OTC desk. And, it got me thinking. Um, first of all, this is this is for big buyers. Um, you can think of institutional investors. They're the ones that would be taking advantage of over over uh, the counter. If that's what OTC is, over the counter transactions. And there are six types of institutional investors. There are endowment funds, uh, commercial banks, mutual funds, hedge funds, pension funds, and insurance companies. And these are the businesses with the big money. The real big money, and this is the money that's uh, that there's evidence that it's moving into the space. And I'll tell you, Bitrix wouldn't be launching an OTC desk if there weren't some sort of demand for it. So that's really cool. And this is going to drive supply and demand big picture. Now, it doesn't change the price on, um, on on retail exchanges that you and I purchase from directly, but it still does affect supply and demand. As more people are hoarding this stuff for the long term, there's less of it out there to be traded and shift hands that way. So that's a good development. And obviously, Bitrix, uh, well, they didn't say specifically that they're going to do OTC transactions with XRP, but they're, uh, they're, you know, they're working with Ripple. They've implemented XRapid. And they, you know, the XRP is on Bitrix. So you put the pieces together, <laughs> you know. So they're probably going to be selling XRP OTC. And uh, additionally, though, Ripple sells over-the-counter also. I don't know if they label, label it as that, but they, they always word it as they have um, – they sell it to uh, in, you know, financial institutions uh, through their subsidiary corporation called XRP2 LLC, which is a registered money services business. And they, they actually – they're so transparent, especially for a, a – Ripple is just for a, a privately owned company – and they, send, they they put out quarterly reports uh, showing exactly how much XRP they've actually sold, and then whatever they don't sell, they you know which came out of escrow, they put back into escrow. And uh, you know people are snatching this up, businesses are snatching this up, and so again, while that doesn't directly affect the price that we pay on retail exchanges, in a back in a back channel kind of way, it it absolutely does affect supply and demand. So these are all fantastic, very positive. Uh, d- developments and I am so glad that I'm in the space early. I know it's funny to say that because Bitcoin's been around a decade now, but I still think it's really, really early. And I'm excited to see what the price action of XRP is going to look like, not in the short term, but in the long term, because I'm a long term thinker. I'm a long term type of guy. And so it's fun. It's fun. I don't get excited on a daily basis about the price, but I do get excited about following this and just knowing that I'm in something that at least I believe is not financial advice. I'm not a financial ad- ad- advisor. But I believe the value is going to increase over time, and so I keep snatching up XRP. But um, and there's a there's a uh, I guess this is yeah this is what I had open. So this is Bitrix. I'm going to go ahead and link this. This is just their official announcement in case you guys want to read through this. But uh, I'll link this in the description of the video below. But uh, that's all I got for you. Just a quick Friday video. And um, if you would please hit the like button and subscribe. I definitely really appreciate it. Like I've said the last couple videos I put out there, um, this is just a hobby for me. This is a lot of fun, and I'm going to keep making videos, but I'll tell you, it's a lot more fun when I've got people participating, and it's it's more engaging. It really is. So um, if you don't completely hate what you heard here today, please consider hitting like. Please consider subscribing. And uh, beyond that, last thing I got to tell you again, I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. (laughs) All right. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great weekend.